this group of calves right here are those ones that we recently trapped and weaned off the range. So they're all still a little bit wild, a little bit thin and kind of rangy, not really straightened out yet. All we're doing right now is putting them out of our way. And also the new bulls over here, we're gonna put them with these out of the way. Go ahead and ride in here and get these bulls out. And once we get these bulls and that group of calves down, locked in the alley out of the road, it'll give us two more pens to sort into. You like those bulls, Ridgie? We got them from Colin. Go on, bully. Go on, bully. Oh, they're not mean. I don't think they're mean. Hoo -bah! Probably because they've never seen you on a horse before, barefooted cowboy. Okay, got those ones down in there out of the road. Now we can bring the heifers out into the alley and start sorting on them. Okay, this is our replacement heifer pen. There's about 166 heifers in here. What we've decided to do is sell them off and buy hay to try to keep the older cows. I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but for now, we're gonna get these heifers out of here, sort them into big, medium, and small, take the heart out of them, and then weigh that middle bunch, which should be the biggest bunch, and see what they average so we can let some buyers know what we've got and see if we can get a new home for these things. Fell in love with these heifers and wanted to keep them pretty bad, but they're gonna have to go. And I think it's a plan that might work out. We've got to do something. We can't just sit around and wait for good luck because that's not happening. So we're gonna sell these right now, buy a bunch more hay, and then try to hang on to those older cows. Part of the reason is because those older cows know how to use this range, the brush, Come on, Heifer, get on out of here. Oh, yeah. Ridgie, tell about that problem you got about your head itching. Your head was itching and you had to hold on with two hands, so is your head still itching? No? <laughs> Pickle's a little fresh this morning, being kind of wild. We need to ride him down here. Okay, let's take a chunk out of these and put them up and go through them. If we put all these heifers up in the alley, it's gonna to be too much to go through. So we're just gonna take a little chunk of them, get through them and then come get some more. All right, somewhere in there, that's good, that's good. Okay, so big, medium, small, and odd. That's how we're sorting them. Okay. We're about to sort these heifers into big, medium, small, and odd. So come grab a gate. Maybe you can hold this camera 
be cameraman. I can either be a good cowboy or a good cameraman, but I can't be both. Can you be both? No. <laughs> can you be a good cameraman? Yeah. like the fence needs a welder you know how to operate that rope mister oh, I decided to keep that one because I like it it's the same color of my hair so yeah, here we are, <laughs> trying to chop up these peppers and get rid of them. And Ryler's already saved one's life because of his hair color. <laughs> Not a very good businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back in. Okay, we'll get Here goes nothing. We got about half the help we need. These heifers are pretty gentle. They might behave. Hip, let's go. Hip, 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 hip. Okay, go on across there. Be good. Hip, hip, hip. Who I hip? I think Riley got him stopped there. So we got most of those heifers in, but there's a little bunch of them that didn't go in on the first try. I've got some hay trickled out there, made a little trail, kind of like Hansel and Gretel did with them breadcrumbs. Old Jake, he don't think that's gonna work, but I think it might work. Let's give it a try. Right, rat, rat, go back in the house, rat. Gotta go back to the house, take them to the house. Go on here. Having the little kids over there in front of them is not helping these heifers go where we want them to go. One thing that's not supposed to work is almost to work. All right, hey, shut that thing down and let them go calm and easy. Shut it down. All right. Don't, don't pressure them too much. Just let them kind of stay calm and follow that dang trail. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my goodness, can you believe that? You didn't believe that was going to work, did you, Jake? I wasn't sure. That sounded like a good idea, but I wasn't sure. We need to be, build a stinking alleyway across there so we can bring them across there like... <laughs> We're going to put these on in about drafts of 10.
Nu no, a fost clar. I guess somebody did one time. I bet they're really old. What are you doing? Are you branding him? Brand him. What you doing, Reggie? I'm trying to get this guy when he gives him one of his You're going to get him and give him a shot? Yeah. Stab him right in the butt. Yeah. Oh, you got him. Got him right in the butt? Now his butt's all better? <laughs> you funny. Yeah. Lure him up. Did you remember you let one buy too? Okay, so we haven't added it. So we had 123, and then it's actually 124. So add another 634 pounds to that and another calf. Was it? Maybe. 600? Yeah. Okay, add another 600 pounds. 633. So we got 124 head at 633. How many total pounds is that? 7,684,000. <laughs> okay, let's take them back across the street. Okay, so that'll make 125 calves at 633 pounds. If anybody wants them, they're all for sale. <laughs> 